The first thing I want to do is apply an eyeshadow base onto my eyelids. This will make my eyeshadow last longer and this is Constructivist by MAC. Next, I will be taking Swiss chocolate and apply that gently onto my crease. This will act as a transition color. So now I'm going into my Bare My Soul palette and I'm taking this beautiful gold eyeshadow and applying that onto my inner tear duct. Next, I'm going into Arena and just applying that onto my brow bones. This will act as a highlighter and also brighten up this look. Now I'm going into my favorite eyeshadow, this is Red Brick and I'm just applying that just over where I applied Swiss Chocolate and also this will act as a transition color. Now I'm going into my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this beautiful color called Black Plum. I am just applying that onto the outer corners of my eyes to make sure I create a smoky effect. You also want to blend this out properly just to make sure the transition between all of the colors I've applied is smooth. I'm a little bit not satisfied with how dark black plum is so what I'm doing is taking a matte black eyeshadow and applying it on the area where I applied black plum to make it darker. Now I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just blending what I've done to make sure there are no harsh lines. And now I'm going into my lid color. This is All Spice by Bobbi Brown. This is a sparkle eyeshadow. I've been loving these eyeshadows. And what I'm doing is patting it onto my lids really gently. Before I start patting it, I of course sprayed it with Fix Plus to make sure the glitters and sparkles don't get around my face. Taking my 217 brush by MAC, I'm just blending what I've done to get rid of hash lines again. And also I'm going into my lid color All Spice by Bobbi Brown and I'm just reapplying that. Also I'm taking my black eyeliner and applying that onto my waterline to darken up this look. Now I'm going back into Black Plum and what I'm doing is applying that gently onto my lower lash line. This will help with the smoky effect and make my eyes look darker. Now I'm taking my Benefit Mascara called They Are Real and I'm applying that onto my eyelashes. This will prep the area for my falsies and also to make that area ready to go. Also I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Tiny Mascara and I'm applying that onto my lower eyelashes. Now my falsies are done as you can see and now it's time to do some highlighting. So I'm taking a Bobbi Brown concealer which is obviously lighter than my skin tone. The color is called Almond if I can remember and I'm taking my Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge and I'm just applying that gently under my eyes. Also I'm going to apply that on the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin. I am setting my concealer with a powder product. I am using the Ben 9 powder in Topaz and I'm applying it directly on areas of my face where I apply the concealer. Now I'm going to contour the heck out of my face. So I'm contouring my face with a darker powder. This is the Ben 9 Translucent Powder in Ebony. And what I've done is contour my nose as well as my cheeks to make my face appear smaller. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> So I'm taking Diamond by MAC, this is from the Rihanna Fall Collection and I'm applying that gently onto my cheekbones. So 
So using this MAC blush and this is vintage grape, I'm applying that onto my cheeks. This is limited edition and I've had this for forever. So onto my lips, I'm taking this lip liner by Remel London. This is in the number 057 and the name is called Ravish and I'm using that to define my lips. Moving on to the star of this tutorial, this is Riri Wu. I'm applying that onto my lips really gently. Once I'm done applying Riri Wu onto my lips, I'm taking the lip glass, which is called Riri Wu as well. And I'm just gonna give my lips a bit of a shine with this lip glass. Now I'm going into my concealer, the one I used earlier, the Bobbi Brown one called Almond. I'm using that to clean up the corners of my lips to make sure my lips is nicely defined. After that, I'm taking my mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm just applying that all over my face. And lastly, I want to set my face with a finishing spray. And that's it. Thank you very much for your time. This is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up.